Negotiations have resumed to try to broker a ceasefire in Gaza to prevent fighting from escalating into a region-wide conflict. But Hamas was absent from the meeting as the U.S., Qatar, Egypt and Israel met in Doha. Yunzin reports. Amid growing concerns over the conflict in the Middle East escalating, mediators from the U.S., Qatar and Egypt met with an Israeli delegation in Doha on Thursday afternoon to open a new round of negotiations to broker a ceasefire in the war in Gaza. While Hamas officials are not participating in the talks, mediators will be consulting with the group's Doha-based negotiating team after the second day of discussions on Friday as they seek to reach an agreement. White House National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said that while there was a promising start to the new round of talks, there remains a lot of work to do, adding that the remaining obstacles can be overcome. The renewed push for talks comes at a vital time following the recent back-to-back -back assassinations at the end of July of Hezbollah's top commander and Hamas's political chief, which had led both the Lebanese group and Iran to blame Israel and threaten revenge that has fed fears of a wider regional escalation. While Hamas and Israel had, in principle, come to an agreement to implement a three-phase plan previously proposed by U.S. President Joe Biden, both sides have since requested amendments and clarifications. Large gaps remain between the two sides, including regarding control of land along the Gaza-Egypt border, the release of hostages, and the return of displaced Palestinian civilians to northern Gaza. Meanwhile, as talks were underway in Doha, ground operations continued in Gaza's southern city of Khan Yunis. The Gaza Health Ministry said Thursday that Israeli airstrikes had killed 40 people in the Strip in the previous 24 hours, pushing the Palestinian death toll to over 40,000 since the war broke out in October last year. Over 92,000 others have been injured. Yun Jin, Arirang News.